I thank you again and uh, welcome to today's lesson where I'm looking at the equation of a line. And to do this, I'm providing a equation. That equation is going to enable us uh, to understand on how those equations of line problem are solved. So the question goes that uh, a line with gradient of negative 3 passes through the point 3k and another point k8. So we have two points here, 3k and k8. Find the value of k. So we are required to find the value of k and hence express the equation of the line in the form of ax plus by equals to c. You are told a and b are constants. So to do this one, first of all, we are given the gradient. We are given the point. So we can equate the change to the gradient. So we know that gradient equals to change in y over change in x. And this change in y, remember, it's actually y2 minus y1 here over x2 minus x1. So to do that, we are getting therefore that the gradient is negative 3, which equals to 8, that is 8 minus k over uh, k minus 3, that is actually x2 minus x1. Now, cross multiplying this one, if we cross multiply, we'll get that 3k plus 9 equals to 8 minus k. And then we'll try now to put the like terms together, as you can actually see here. If we do this, we are now getting that uh, k will come to the other side to have negative 2k equals to negative 1. If we divide by 2 across, here by 2, and also here by 2, then we'll end up with k equals to a half. So therefore, these coordinates that we have here will be 3 half, and here will be half 8. So we have already gotten the value of k. Now, we will take one of the coordinates. I've chosen to take this one, which is 3 half, and the gradient given, and chosen an arbitrary point x, y. Then I'm using what we call the point uh, gradient form of equation, which I say y minus y1, where I'm taking this one to be my y1, and this one to be x1 equals to the gradient x minus x1. Now substituting the values of y1 and x1 and m, we'll have y is equals to y minus a half, because uh, uh, y1 is a half, equals to negative 3, that is m, then x minus 3. Then expanding this, we'll end up with y, that means you expand this, and you simplify, we'll end up with y equals to negative 3x plus 19 over 2. Then if I try to multiply by 2 across, I'll have 2y minus 6x plus 19. Then I rearrange this equation starting with x, which now goes to 6x plus 2y equals to 19. Now by so doing, I've already expressed this particular equation in the form that is required here. So thank you, and I believe that short demonstration, and believe that this question appeared in the uh, KCSC 2016 paper 1, question 11. So I believe that uh, a smaller uh, description on how to work out this particular question uh, is useful for your uh, understanding of that particular area. Remember to subscribe uh, to my channel for more interesting a video to come. Thank you.